Hey everyone, I'm Chris, the Third Coast Craftsman. I'm back in the shop with my trusty bird dog and shop partner, Oots, and we're gonna finish the bookshelf that we started in part one. We're gonna be doing assembling the bench and then doing the through wedged mortise and tenons on the top, which are really tricky, but they turn out awesome, so make sure you stick around, and let's get going. All right. Now I need to cut this final tenon, which will go through the top, and that'll make up the wedge through mortise and tenon. Once I get this piece cut, I can assemble the sides and feet together. I drill holes in the edges of the tenons and then I will cut a saw curve down to those holes and that's what I'll drive that wedge in later on. Those holes that I drilled will help that side piece not split when you drive the wedge in. Now we'll take a straight grain dowel and cut it into several smaller pieces and these will be what I'll, I'll use for the drawboard mortise and tenon. Now watch as I drive this peg in, it pulls that joint together. That's the beauty of this drawboard mortise and tenon joint. Remember I have a, a detailed video on this down in the description, so check that out if you're interested. Now I'm going to begin to cut my shelves and essentially create tenons. And these tenons will go through the side pieces to make up the tusk mortise and tenon joint. And there is a detailed video on that joint as well in the description. So feel free to check that one out. It's a really cool joint as well. Now I'm going to make a template for my wedges and these are going to be made out of Jara which is the same material that the top is. It'll make a really nice contrasting color. Now that my wedges are cut, I can use those as a guide for cutting the hole in the tenon on the shelf that they'll be driven into.
Be careful not to drive this wedge in too hard or you can end up breaking the entire joint. So now I'm going to begin cutting the mortise that goes through the top and the side pieces will come up through this mortise. I'll use the drill press to hog out most of the material and then I'll take my chisels later on and chop out the rest of the waste. Oops. Will you get my uh, mallet for me? Good boy. Thanks. Thanks, bud. Alright, scariest part of the whole build, time to put the wedges in. If you're interested in seeing more on this wedged mortise and tenon, I have a detailed video on that. I'll have a link in the description and probably at the end of the video too. So check that out, it's really good. have it those bookshelves turned out awesome I hope you enjoyed watching the videos if you're new to the channel maybe consider subscribing uh, if you have any questions make sure you ask those in the comments and I'll make sure to try to answer those so again thanks I'll see you next time bye